Justin Ray Gagey or just Justin Gagey, nicknamed The Highlight, is an American professional mixed martial artist. He currently competes in the UFC's lightweight division. He is the former UFC interim light heavyweight champion and the UFC bad motherfucker champion. Gage started his professional MMA career with an 18 win streak, but everyone loses someday. And Justin is no different. On July 2017, the UFC announced that Gage would coach the Ultimate Fighter 26 along with Eddie Alvarez, with the two expected to face each other at the conclusion of the season. The bout with Alvarez took place on December 2017 at UFC 218. Gage lost the competitive fight by KO in the third round, the first loss on his MMA career. The fight also earned him his second consecutive fight of the night bonus award. At the World MMA Awards it was named the fight of the year 2017. In the next fight, Gage lost back and forth via TKO in the fourth round to Dustin Poirier on April 2018 at UFC on Fox 29. The fight earned Gage his third consecutive Fight of the Night bonus award. Shardog named Gage vs Poirier as the best fight of 2018. It was revealed after the fight that Gage's leg kicks had caused a partial tear of Poirier's quadriceps femoris muscle. After Gage won by KO TKO four fights in a row and got the interim UFC light heavyweight belt. In a title unification bout for the UFC lightweight championship, he faced Habib Nurmagomedov on October 2020 at UFC 254. The highlight lost the fight by technical submission due to a triangle choke in the second round, marking the first submission loss in his mixed martial arts career. Despite tapping, referee Jason Herzog did not stop the bout before Gage lost consciousness due to the choke. I mean, Gage landed some beautiful kicks, but once Habib got him to the ground, they were they were just on a different level. I mean, I've seen him do this before in the rest of the practice room. But I have never seen him pull it off in a fight, didn't know if he would be comfortable enough to try it. As he slams up, he's down. Watch his left arm, John. There's a tap. There's a second tap. You know, he tapped four times. Again, in the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Unquestioned after dominating the interim champion like that. Undefeated and the UFC. After one more fight on 2021, when Justin defeated Michael Chandler by a decision. He faced Charles Oliveira on May 2022 at UFC 274 for the vacant UFC lightweight championship. Due to Oliveira missing weight and having been stripped of the title, only Gage was eligible to win the title. Despite knocking down Oliveira twice, Gage lost the fight via rear naked choke submission in round one. Exactly. There's the right hand. They don't that jump the on right him. Hook. They don't jump on him because he's right. so good on the ground. I that think that might have been a... Swing knee. 
Oh, oh big left from Gaethje. Clean right hand from the champion. Oh, my. Through half a round. Gaethje back to work on the leg kick, landed a right hand. Oh! oh. Big knockdown with a right for Oliveira. Oh, my God. Now trying to transition to the back. This Oliveira is just, he can't let him take his back. Oh, he's got the choke. He's got, he's got fully the choke. locked in. It's over. Fully it's locked over. in. Oh, my goodness. Switches up to the grip. He's going to go to sleep. Oh, my that goodness. That is going to do it. This dude. Right hand right lands just drop, and his ability to recognize your hurt, he jumps right to jujitsu. Right, he doesn't go and start throwing all kinds of punches. Who can stop Charles Oliveira? Well, jujitsu is so solid, and look how he transitions from the triangle. He had a triangle at one point in time. Once he hides that lock, it's over. And Justin went to sleep. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Low Light TV was with you. See you soon.